Hello, children. So the last time uh, when we left our uh, lesson, uh, uh, we were talking about uh, the change in the state of uh, uh, matter, and um, we added uh, uh, to that uh, a few important terms like uh, melting point, boiling point, then transition of state from solid to liquid, that's melting, then next uh, uh, boiling, and uh, the uh, change of state from uh, solid to gas directly, that is called as a sublimation, then the return, that is the reverse process of it. When we are cooling gas to solid, a gas to liquid, that is called as a condensation. And liquid to solid is called solidification or freezing. And then next, gas directly converted to solid that we call it as a, a deposition. Okay, children. So that was what we have learned. And the next, uh, we were also learning about uh, the factors that uh, help in uh, change of the state. One is the temperature, the, the second one is uh, the pressure, and the third one actually it's not a, a factor which can cause a, a change in the state, but uh, it helps in a change of the state uh, very quickly by decreasing the melting point, freezing point, whatever. Okay, so children, uh, now we are moving to the next part. Uh, I want to ask you a question. Uh, if I take uh, a little water uh, and uh, keep it there without heating uh, uh, or otherwise pour out uh, some water on the floor and um, keep it there without wiping it off, uh, then uh, do you find uh, that water after coming and seeing that, I mean after returning, if you see it after a while, uh, uh, do you see that water there? So you won't see that water there because uh, the water is converted uh, into the gaseous state. Now, okay, I'm asking you a question. If that is the case, uh, so we have learned uh, conversion of uh, uh, liquid to gas, uh, that is called as vaporization, and that requires heat. All right, the next one, did we keep a stove, or did we keep something there in order to uh, heat it, and did it come to what is called the boiling point, and did that go out like that? Did it happen? No, for your information, children, we did not do all that, but still, uh, there is a phase change change of uh, liquid to gas without our heating it uh, so what might have happened and that uh, this might have happened here and uh, what is that what is that so the surface uh, molecules uh, we know well that uh, all the particles of uh, all matter they are constantly moving solid liquid or gas whatever they are moving but uh, uh, in liquids and gases, the movement is uh, very fast because their kinetic energies are very high. Now, in this also, um, there are uh, kinetic energies for uh, all the particles, right? So, at uh, uh, on the surface, on the surface, uh, right, there are certain particles, right? There are particles uh, in the bottom also. I just want to give you an idea, children. Look here. Uh, so, if this is uh, uh, what is the uh, water which I'm telling you. Uh, right, uh, liquids we know well they have a free surface. And uh, imagine a particle here, uh, imagine a particle here, imagine a particle here. Now, this particle, this particle here is attracted uh, from uh, uh, all, uh, all directions, uh, and this uh, is attracted down like this uh, and uh, uh, like that. Okay, children, so every particle is attracted to the other particle uh, in this uh, liquid. Now, observe carefully. Observe carefully, there are some particles uh, uh, which are on the surface, uh, and these surface, uh, these surface particles, uh, they are attracted least. So, their energy is high, but they are pulled down with a lesser force of attraction. That results in uh, these molecules uh, escaping into the surroundings. Then, that escaped layer of particles uh, causes the next layer to be exposed to the uh, surroundings. So what happens is, uh, as the particles uh, they absorb the heat uh, from the surroundings, uh, and uh, the surface particles uh, having more kinetic energy, uh, um, and not more kinetic energy, but effectively more kinetic energy, relatively more kinetic energy, because there's nobody, not many to pull uh, it uh, in any other direction. So what happens is uh, uh, these particles, they are experiencing more force uh, of attraction, whereas these particles, they are experiencing less. So due to which uh, their kinetic energy, relative net kinetic energy, you can say, is more than compared to this one. And as a result, uh, the surface again uh, uh, gets out of uh, this uh, medium or material. And later on, a new layer is exposed. That way, layer by layer, the whole material gets uh, 
out of the vessel here so is it not change of uh, state of matter from liquid state to gas yes it is change of state but uh, here we are not boiling it uh, so i say this is a phenomenon which is only taking place on the surface but not all the liquid so this phenomenon which is a surface phenomenon which is quite different uh, or opposite uh, not opposite but quite different from the vaporization or uh, um, boiling uh, it is called as uh, evaporation that's called as evaporation what is evaporation children is a surface phenomena in which a phenomenon in which uh, the particles on the surface uh, they get energy and relative energy relative kinetic energy of those uh, particles on top uh, being more than the other particles uh, they will escape into the surroundings uh, and exposing the next layer and this way that keeps up and the whole bulk of the material will be getting out of uh, uh, that vessel and similarly that's the case uh, uh, with uh, the water that we uh, poured or spilled on the floor and that got dried up uh, so children uh, this is called evaporation now so where do you find uh, this case of evaporation in your daily life so you find uh, this evaporation everywhere now when you are drying clothes on a cloth line so what will you do so you're going to put it over the cloth line cloth line and uh, there uh, the surface uh, being more uh, the particles uh, will keep on escaping right the next one is there anything else where you find this evaporation happening yes so when uh, uh, you are uh, uh, going to a doctor the doctor he applies uh, uh, certain uh, um, what is that uh, a liquid and what is that liquid children? it's called surgical spirit and that's a uh, disinfectant and that is uh, rubbed onto your skin before an injection is uh, uh, given to you why because you should not get uh, infected but something is happening there but you don't find that wetness all the time so there uh, that wetness is lost in a fraction of a second because it absorbs the heat from you and quickly the layer it uh, escapes so thus that's also an example for uh, evaporation so are there any more explanations children or examples where you can uh, cite from your daily daily um what is it life where you find uh, this uh, evaporation yes okay right uh, so you find this evaporation when you wash your face uh, and your face is wet uh, and just stand in front of a fan uh, and you will be dried that is uh, you don't wipe your face uh, but still uh, uh, all the water it just gets out into the surroundings this is also a case of uh, evaporation right okay now children uh, we'll be talking about uh, what the factors what are the factors which help in uh, uh, evaporation or aggravate evaporation or help in evaporation or uh, uh, which can uh, change uh, uh, the process of evaporation or which affects the uh, process of evaporation what are the factors which affect uh, uh, the evaporation those things uh, will be talking in detail by a small uh, by some activities uh, I'll describe here and we'll be doing later so children before that uh, I want you to recollect what evaporation is. Evaporation is a surface phenomenon where the par particles on the surface, uh, they gather energy from there, uh, from the surface, uh, from the surroundings, as well as the bulk for all the material and uh, uh, the relative kinetic energy of these particles being more, they just escape into the surroundings. This is called evaporation. And we have so many uh, examples of evaporation in our daily life, children. So now, uh, we'll be talking about uh, factors that affect uh, evaporation. Before we get into the details, uh, uh, I want uh, you to uh, take uh, a point. So, children, we'll return. And um, now, I have drawn some figures, children, uh, so that uh, we can quickly understand it. Uh, now, children, here, there are 5 ml of water uh, in a test tube and uh, 5 ml of water in a big uh, flat saucer. So now when I keep this uh, uh, in a fan, means uh, if, if I keep these things uh, uh, under a fan, now where do you think evaporation will be quicker or faster? So naturally it is here. Why? Because when the surface area is more, there will be large number of molecules on the surface, they'll be escaping. So, so evaporation is uh, more when the surface area is uh, more. That's first part. And the second thing now, when you dry clothes, uh, uh, in your house or on a cloudy day or outside uh, when you 
uh, with that uh, dry clothes in a sunny day. Now, how will the difference be? So, evaporation, where does it uh, be quicker? So, you find that the evaporation will be quicker uh, when you dry your clothes uh, uh, in the sun outside than uh, uh, cl drying clothes inside or on a cloudy day. So, children, so temperature affects uh, evaporation. So, evaporation gets speeded up uh, as uh, temperature increases. So, it's directly related. And here, children, now, so we are keeping one vessel, we will be filled with water on a fan and the other one is not under a fan and we rotate the, the fan the next year. What will happen children? You'll find that the evaporation will be faster here. That's because the wind blowing down on the water surface will drive away the particles of the wind will drive away the uh, particles of uh, water on the surface and uh, aggravate or uh, increase uh, the rate of uh, evaporation. So evaporation is uh, directly related to wind speed and humidity. You know well what humidity is. Humidity is the amount of water vapor that is uh, in uh, air. So air when it is uh, filled with uh, uh, filled with uh, water vapor uh, it won't allow uh, the water surface molecules surface molecules on the water to escape so it's like uh, uh, if you are sitting on a chair and uh, i ask you to get up you will get up quickly uh, easily but uh, if i uh, press you down and ask you to get up uh, you'll find it very difficult so humidity also plays uh, the same role that is uh, when there is a lot of atmosphere a lot of moisture in the atmosphere there'll be pressing down that's the uh, we can say the vapor pressure in one way that's not vapor pressure but still the water vapor it uh, has, uh, uh, in the atmosphere that causes pressure on the surface of uh, uh, the water so the surface molecules find it very difficult uh, uh, a little difficult uh, than regular uh, to fly into the surrounding so that's children we find that um, uh, when it is uh, uh, when it is humid uh, uh, the evaporation will be slower so I say it is inverse relation between uh, uh, these, uh, right, children? The next one. So we we observe these things in a common day. So this uh, is uh, uh, what you will do when you uh, drink milk. When you are hurrying to your school, uh, what does your mother do? It, she gives hot milk uh, in a glass and uh, you will not be able to drink it because you can burn your lips and uh, mouth. So what does she do? She'll pour that into a wide vessel, wider surface area, so saucer. And uh, in that saucer, uh, what she does is she pours that milk uh, and uh, you will sip it uh, so quickly and easily because the water has become cooled or the milk that you have uh, uh, drinking, which you are drinking, that will become cooler. Why? Because the evaporation has uh, uh, taken away the heat from it. So children, so there we are, my right, next one. And uh, now from this, uh, we also understand uh, from this uh, explanation, from this idea which I have given just now, uh, from there uh, I can give you that uh, uh, when uh, surface uh, molecule, uh, surface particles are escaping, uh, how is that they are escaping? So they are taking more energy. They are taking energy from the surroundings, uh, and uh, uh, as their relative kinetic energy becomes more, uh, so just uh, jump into the atmosphere. While doing so, they are carrying uh, the energy of the remaining molecules of the surroundings uh, so what results is uh, that there are cooling effect uh, happening in that area so just uh, you will also feel that uh, uh, when uh, the uh, doctor uh, wipes uh, a swab of uh, uh, cotton dipped in uh, surgical spirit so you feel it very cool uh, before the injection is given to you so what is the reason children the reason is uh, the reason is uh, the particles of uh, uh, the alcohol, uh, they have absorbed uh, the energy and uh, after having sufficiently got the energy to escape, they escape and by doing, uh, they will carry the energy or the heat energy of, from the surface of that part of the skin and makes, uh, this makes uh, you feel, you feel cool in that uh, area. So children, evaporation is thus a cooling effect. So evaporation increases uh, as surface, a surface area increases uh, another common thing that you do is uh, uh, when you dry clothes uh, in uh, uh, the sun naturally uh, you find uh, evaporation is quicker uh, here in this case because as temperature rises uh, evaporation also becomes uh, faster and uh, wind speed uh, we have learned uh, uh, as wind speed increases evaporation also 
gets aggravated or increases and the next uh, here children as humidity increases uh, what happens is that there is suppression of uh, these evaporating particles by the water particles outside and that results in uh, uh, decrease in the evaporation process so we understand children evaporation is thus uh, inversely related to humidity so children now uh, this is what we have learned uh, we will now learn uh, something uh, uh, more in a common day phenomena uh, where this evaporation is useful